Hello, welcome to chapter two, part two, video one. Um, ooh, these things are all out of order. Uh, just because I know it might bother some of y'all, I'll show you. I don't know. I don't know how they're out of order. I mean, the original document's not like that. Hmm. Anyway, um, we've already done this. We've done is this column right here. We've already done it in a prior video. Actually, chapter two, video one. What we didn't do is this column right here. And I'm gonna do it really fast. Um, as a review, Addy Clear. We did two videos using Addy Clear, Addy Clear. Assets, uh, depreciation expenses contribution or investments, liability, or revenue. ADE, A-D-E, debit, C-L-R, clear, credit. So, um, ADE, assets. So anytime we have an asset, the way we increase the asset account is a debit. So all of these that are marked asset, I'll just highlight it in yellow just for the teaching purposes. Um, I don't have to do it one at a time. As you can see, as I'm going through here, you can quickly look and see that the uh, corresponding entry over here is a debit. We increase assets with a debit. That's part of ADE, ADE. All assets are increased with a debit. And you can see those are correct. All right? ADE, ADE. As, assets, depreciation, expenses, all expenses are also increased with a debit. Looking for another expense. That's the only one, only expense we have, okay? Now, dividends are a contra equity account. I will say they're equity. You'll hear me use that word. So super precise just drilling down and being as accurate as we possibly can. What do we need to call it? Contra equity. In other words, the opposite of equity. Let's skip that for right now and look at just equity. All right. So CLR, contribution or investments, liability, and equity or revenue CLR contribution or investments <coughs> revenue and revenue and liability sorry yeah <clears throat> all your equity <coughs> goes under the C for investments let me get some something to drink um goes under C they're all credits all matters dealing with equity or credit all matters that increase equity. All matters that increase equity or increased with a credit. So equity or the C and CLR is a credit balance as we see there. And I'll do it a different color. Okay. The opposite of equity that is increased with a credit is a contra literally means opposite of equity and it is increased with a debit and i'll just highlight the whole thing okay and now that leaves us with the remaining lr liabilities and revenue revenue is increased with a credit and you can see by the corresponding entry there credit Liabilities, likewise, are increased with a credit. And then the liability, again, obviously, it still is a credit. Okay. So you can use the ADE CLR to remember. And then the uh, challenging part will be to remember that dividends or contra equity account the opposite of what normally happens with equity accounts 
the equity accounts are normally increase with a credit. It'll be the opposite or a debit. And the equity, um, the only other little twist is that's the C and CLR. Okay. All right. Now we got that out of the way. We have a transaction. We're going to start journalizing now. Uh, speedy computers. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness gracious alive. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get rid of March. And then let's see if we can't. So we got uh, as many transactions for the month of March, starting with the 1st and end with the 30th. So those are dates, March 1st, 15th, 16th. All right, so um, I'm going to shrink the screen so I can get the, uh, oops, too far. Perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that. Perfect. All right, so now we have uh, the journal entries side by side. So on March 1st, Speedy, let's see if I can make it just a, ah, won't work. Speedy received 3000 in cash from Bill Smith in exchange for common stocks. So equity is increasing with a contribution. Cash is increasing with a contribution. And as you recall, I have Addy clear. These are debit, increase with a debit, and these are increase with a credit. Okay, so asset cash is increase with a debit. Equity, C, remember that crazy thing at the part of the video that I showed you? Um, you can say C for common stock if you wanted to also. Just thought of that is increased with the credit. So that means we'll debit cash for 3000 There's something crazy going on with that, and I gave, I gave up. It just wasn't worth trying to get it larger to fit in there nice and neat. That's $3,000 debit, $3,000 credit. And that's the journal entry. You'll need to know this for the test. Um, March 15th, provided services and received cash amounting to $5,400 from customers. Receive cash. So we increase cash. Cash is an asset. Assets are increased with a debit. Right there. Okay. Revenue, R, is increased with a credit. Debit cash. Credit service fees. Earn. Our services revenue. If you if you said I like services revenue, it'd be fine with me. I was fixing to type it out. I don't care. Usually, in uh, accounting principles, we'll give you the account titles that you need. Number sixteen or right, March sixteenth, purchase supplies on account one hundred dollars. Remember, we said in this class we're going to treat supplies as an asset, so debit the asset to record the increase. And remember, we said liabilities to increase a liability, we credit it. So a debit supplies for 100 and credit accounts payable for 100. March 17th, paid for gas and oil, $800. Debit gas and oil expense. Now, how do I know we debit expense? If you're going to use Addy Clear, ADE -E is expense. To record an expense, we'll debit it. And to record a liability, we're going to pay it in the future. Accounts payable, we'll credit accounts payable. Supplies is debited in 100, accounts payables credited at 100. You know, I don't think I mentioned this in the videos, but debits always come first, followed by credits. So we can have a bunch of debits and a bunch of credits. There's always going to be all the debits and all the credits, or one debit and one credit. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to indent the credit. So all these through here, where they're indented, that second line, those are credits. And the same thing, we're going to keep the columns left and right, debit left, credit right, like we've already mentioned. On the 7th, on the 18th, we paid salaries. We debit salaries expense and credit cash. Why are we debiting, I mean, why are we crediting cash? Well, cash is increased with a debit. 
but we're paying money out. The only way to decrease cash is to do the opposite of the way we increase it, or a credit. So this also helps, this mnemonic also helps you show the way to decrease. If a debit increases assets, depreciation, and expenses, then a credit will reduce assets. It will be the opposite. On the 28th, we provided services and received cash. Well, the 28th is very, very similar to a previous entry. We're just doing it for a different amount. Cash and service fees earned, 6000 and 6000 Then on the 29th, we bought, paid for truck and equipment rental. Let's just go with equipment rental. Uh, I think that's what they're saying. They rented a truck. Equipment rental expense. Is 2500 That's an expense. We debit it, and we were reducing an asset, so we were credit it, credit cash, 2500 Pay dividends. Remember dividends from just a few minutes ago in this video. Dividends are a contra equity account, and that is increased with a debit. So we debit dividends and credit cash. You know, when I was a student, I just couldn't ever keep that straight. So I'm just going to tell you a shortcut that seemed to work for me. I know when I pay a dividend, I got a credit cash, right? We're going to reduce the asset. Anytime we pay a bill, we credit cash. Anytime we spend money, we credit cash. So then I just do the opposite of cash. I mean, cash is a credit in this case. Then dividends has to be a debit. And that's how I remembered it. Whatever you want. Now look, this video has already gotten long in the tooth. It's a little bit over 11 minutes now. Let's call it and I'll just do a video too. See you there.